I'm Mark Weiss. Welcome to Wisdom Applied. From working with clients across the country, I'm seeing a trend with more hospitals telling their hospital-based providers that they're not simply going to enter into renewal negotiations. Instead, they're going to be issuing an RFP for their services. This is a very bad sign. And for reasons much broader than the fact that many of my clients have long-standing uh, contractual relationships with these facilities and now they're being told that their contracts may be uh, in jeopardy. Essentially there are three types of RFPs. There are what I call true RFPs in which a hospital is earnestly seeking to find the highest quality provider that can, that can deliver that service at uh, a, a favorable cost. There are what I call fictitious RFPs in which the facility has already made up its mind that it's going to be contracting with one group or another, but for one reason or another wants to make it appear fair, and therefore issues an RFP inviting other proposals, proposals that it is never going to uh, even consider. And lastly, there are what I call fulcrum RFPs, in which a facility doesn't seek to replace its existing group, it just wants to create terror in the hearts and minds of the group members in order that the hospital can cram down the best deal it can obtain. In other words, it's doing this to get the group to negotiate against its own best interests. Well, the problem, of course, is that you'll never know what type of RFP that you are dealing with. The idea, of course, as I've mentioned many times in this video series and in my writing, is that your group must set up a situation in which the hospital would be foolish to risk an RFP. Set up correctly and experience monopoly creates a situation that can't be duplicated by a mere bidder in an RFP process. But even more so, the proper business structure of your group would place the hospital at risk of your group deciding not to respond to their RFP, withdrawing the unique experience. Now, earlier I mentioned that this RFP trend is a bad sign for reasons other than my client's self-interest. What I was alluding to is that the willingness to resort to an RFP, especially a fulcrum RFP, designed as a signal to beat you into submission, sends a clear signal to the group that the relationship with the hospital will never be the same. The hospital's administration can no longer be trusted. They do not want to develop a mutually beneficial and lasting relationship. They truly want to consider what you do to be a commodity. Now, smart group leaders will see this as a sign to expand the group beyond the hospital, and when the timing is right, to either terminate the relationship with the hospital, to be emboldened the next contracting round to negotiate equally hard in response to an RFP because the group no longer needs the deal or simply not bother to respond to the RFP at all. Now in the long term, hospitals playing this game will see their services degrade as commodity, commodity level providers are matched with these commodity level seekers. The only losers will be the patients, but their interests were never considered by the hospital in the first place, were they?